Hey, I'm Menno. This is my hardcore Iron Man. In this series, I'm going for the highest possible streak at the Arch Glacier, where I'm losing my status. Starting off the episode with an iconic quest. Here's Desert Treasure, good for the ancient spellbook. The reason I'm doing it at this time is to get a new archaeology research member. I'm sending out research teams as much as I can, and this guy gives more materials. For now, I'm camping the Dragon King 2 spot. Looks like it will be the best spot up until 114. There's 105 archaeology. It's really slow, but I'll try to do as much as I can in this episode. There's so many useful relics, and I'm gonna need 117 anyways for endgame PVM. One great thing about all this archaeology is all the invention XP from the Maddox is 74. Now boost to make the mechanized siphon, which will help a lot, because I always forget to siphon my stuff. This should end up giving me more XP in the long run, because it does it automatically. I was curious how much difference the new guy makes, so here's the old research team. And here's the same one, but with the desert treasure guy. Not a huge improvement, but it will add up. Complete all the mysteries to get another research team member. It's this bird gives 10% more research XP. Putting the new member on the team. And I'm sending these out as often as I can. Because I don't care about the chronos. I just want to get to the 200 streak as fast as possible. Another herbal level coming in. 86 to stun. The end of the month is coming up. So I decided to do Sins of the Father for a new monthly. This FG monthly is the best one. Gives you effigies, which is extra XP for minimal effort. Anything to speed up scaling is good in my book. Here's some progress on the Anachronia camp. Finally got max workers. So it shouldn't be too long till I'm finished with all of these. All this archaeology is giving me plenty of levels. Here's 80 invention. Can boost to make super invention potion now. For a plus 5 boost. With that I can finally claim the Ancient Gizmo, I think it's been in my bank for 6 months at least. Should boost my XP an hour with some better perks. With a new potion I can also discover a ton of new stuff. We'll see how much XP I get. Ended up with Arthritis and 82 invention. Pretty good amount of XP, 1.2 mil total. Moved on to some fletching because I'll need 70 fletching in the future for a quest. I can't remember which one. But yeah, here's 52 for broad arrows, which is what I'll be doing to 70. Oh, I thought I learned this. I guess it was slayerings earlier. Oh well. Got a lot of slay to do to get the points, but I can't be asked at the moment. I'll move on to something else. Went for a farm run and then got lucky on the spirit yak. I don't think the adoption is very likely because I've never seen it happen. Takes months apparently. But yeah, two females and a male. Nice. Breeding pair done. I've been doing way too much archaeology. Here's 108. Bet you didn't see 109 coming. I do flash events whenever I see them while doing archaeology. Let's see if I can get an onyx core. Come on. Nope. Well, the dragons are good. And brawling gloves to speed up skilling. I'll take it. Another archaeology level coming in. 110. Will I get 117 this episode? I guess we'll find out. I'm for sure getting 111 at least. Getting most of my herb XP from Jackal Trades. Here's 87 herbal. Have a look at this. I've been collecting artifacts for a long time. 163 collections for the Dragon King 2 one. Will be a lot of XP. Getting extra skeleton fragments if I hand it in at this collector. I have the other option to hand it in at the archaeology camp for extra crow notes. But I think the extra XP is better. Doing archaeology so long, it's going to take a long time just handing all these in. I'll speed it up for you.
There we go. Last one. It all took seven minutes. Quite a while just to add in these. Let's reset the XP tracker. So it's easy to see the total. There's the first level. Next one will be the biggest XP drop. 7,000 fragments. Four point nine million XP. And there's the last bit, three point three million. Got to hundred and thirteen. New spot. Probably good XP. I'll move on to that. Here's how much XP I would have gotten if I handed in all at once. Eight point three million. Let's take a look at the total. Eight point five. Ah, oh, I kinda of regret not doing it to be honest. Missed the record button, but here's 114 archaeology. Can move on to the staff spot and try my luck. Here's some big progress, 90 necromancy. Can go for the tier 90 equipment. Here's another important requirement for the 200 streak, Dagon by Mystery. This gives me access to the Blood Reaver familiar from Ancient Summoning. Would be really useful. Also decided to finish up all the other mysteries at this dig site. I'm still spamming research missions and all those mysteries let me use this one. Greatly increases material. Before using the new member I'm getting 3.4 million in materials. And with the new member it bumps it up to 3.9. That's a pretty good increase. Now that I have 90 necromancy I need to level up my melee stats. The tier 80 tank tasks require entry to God Wars 1, so I need 70 strength. Couple hours later, here's 70 strength. Moving on to some quests, Spirit of Summer. And also the sequel, Summer's End. The reason I did those quests is for the Wilderness Achievement Diary. This task requires you to be skulled, because otherwise all these NPCs will kill you. I guess you could use an all to scout ahead, but I didn't bother. There's no PKers anyways, and those left are bad, so it's fine. Completed the easy tasks, and the medium ones, and lastly the hard tasks. These tasks are good, because the wielder sword lets you teleport to the herb patch. The main reason I did it was for the XP lamps though. I need higher agility, because I didn't get 70 strength. But I also need 70 agility to access, I think it is the Saradomin camp. Ended up with 71, perfect. Here's the tier 80 tasks done. I realized I can't wear the armor because I don't have the defense level. So I just did the tank task instead to get the weapons. Tier 80 weapons done. Even with tier 70 armor and 80 weapons, I could just AFK the entire fight caves without soul split. Here's Jad done. Needed for the tier 90 tasks. And the fire cave will be useful later to get to kill. For the tier 90 tank tasks, I need to kill all God Wars 2 bosses. One of them requires 80 prayer. So I just scour the bank for anything I can use at the wildy altar. Can also use this banker because of the wildy tasks I did earlier. Managed to use up everything but the wyvern bones. They seem really bad XP. I don't really want to stay for this I think. But yeah I got 1.1 million XP and level 80 prayer. Went back to the zombies for 68 attack. I need 80 to access Vindicta for God Wars 2. Using all the weeklies and monthlies to get herb XP. Here's 88 coming in. I needed it for extreme attack potion. I'm not sure if I get enough boost from this, but I'll get plus 13. Okay, that's enough already. I now have access to every boss in the God Wars 2. So I can work on the tier 90 tasks. Oh, I don't have divine charge. The classic Iron Man plans go to shambles when you run into new requirement. But yeah, I need the Divine Conversion, and that requires World Wakes. Decided to knock out the Persistent Rage Relic as well. 
it's good because I need adrenaline for the World Wakes run. And it's also good for AFK bosses. I prepared as much as I could with the brews and combo food and the restoration portents. Also brought my best tier 40 shield. I guess barricades won't last long, so I'll use immortality if I need to. I know everyone likes to overhype this, but it's not a hard run. There's the quest done. Getting a bunch of XP lumps. This is nice to see. Getting some Matrix B. This last one thing, yeah, I'm going summoning is that Matrix is easy enough to train. For these ancient lamps, I'm going Herblor. And I don't think I can use all of them in the same skill. No, I can't. I guess prayer is the second best. Yeah, this seems useful. Third one I'll keep for later. If you destroy it, you can reclaim it. Will be good for agility later. Back to the reason why I did this quest. You can't claim this unless you have the quest done. It's the relic. Divine Conversion. It's extremely good for PGM. Speeds up the rate you get Divine Charges significantly. Made some extreme Divination Potions. Gives you more energy as well. But I also need it for the level. Another good upgrade is this Nightmare Familiar. But my summoning level is a bit too far away. If you hand in the crest bots at the Hall of Memories, then you get a passive perk that gives you more energy when doing divination. Also gotta remember to unlock the boon of incandescent energy. It gives you more energy as well. Spent a bit of time in World 79 and got a ton of charges. All this archaeology grinding has gotten me a couple more Tetris. Onyx Dust is pretty useful now that I have Extreme Div Pot. I need some for the tier 90 tasks. Oh, there's Dragon Maddox. It's the second one. I can use it to make the tier 99 Maddox. The seeds might come in handy. I need 107 farming for Vuln bombs, so that would be a hard goal to achieve. Got a couple binding contracts and the Maddox, so it's a good opening. All the XP is nice as well. 115 archaeology. Can try my luck at the spear spot. Didn't get any luck at the staff spot, but it's whatever, I don't need it. You can also use the onyx dust from the tetras to make an onyx and charge this thing for the tank tasks. Time for some upgrades. Or not, I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot about the pie. Here's what happens when you don't like questing. I guess I don't have access to the fire rings. I needed to get to Evil Bob to hand in the thing for the pie. Luckily it's a quick couple quests. There we go. Problem solved. Now to hand in all the stuff. There's tier 90 tank task done. Also needed 85 smithing to make all the gear. There's my first tier 90 weapon set. 
इसमें मोर इन्वेंशन एक्सपी एंड देर इट इसंट I need components for augmenters, so I'm spending most of my cash for spirit charts to see what summoning level I get. Starting at 67, ended up with 71 summoning. Couldn't afford all my charms. Now that I have tier 90 weapons and a bit higher invention level, thought it's time to go for a better scavenging perk. Let's see how many components I can get from 1300 slay rings. I need precious. There's the last of them. Ended up with 205. Decent. Hoping I can get one scavenging four out of these at least. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sure. I'm good with that. Let's use it on the main hand. Now I need precise six to no sidel. There we go. It isn't too rare, so I think I was pretty on rate. Looking good with my perked weapons, but my body and legs are pretty horrible. Need to make a couple improvements. Can't go for any best in slot perks because my invention level is too low. But Demon Slayer should help with the krill grind later for subjugation. Next one, I'm going biting to venom blood, also for krill to prevent poison. Here are the perks on my top. The legs. Oh, I made a duplicate perk. Oops. Need to get invigorating. Here's a couple of RFD quests: the Pirate Pete, and also the Goblins. This gives me access to the chest down in the Lumbridge basement. Can buy all this gear and disassemble for culinary components. I'm going for invigorating for Undead Slayer. Raptor gives a lot of Undead Slayer tasks. So it will be useful for that, and also Rassil Grind if I ever end up going there. There we go. That's my first best in slot per. Never mind, I am precise, but yeah, second. Here's a look at the current leg situation. We'll be needing impatient later. With that done, I think it's time to update the spreadsheet. Managed to get ancient summoning early on in the video, and then a precise six per, and also invigorating four. If you end up watching the entire video, why not give a man a like? Thanks for watching and have a good one.